Alright. Oops. Here we go. Let's keep going. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Locked from the other side. The door leading to the back room is blocked off. Find another way in. box. Uh, how do I find another way in? I don't know. Already been in here. I have no fucking clue. I just went in a giant circle and I don't know where to go. I'm running out of oil for the lamp. What the fuck am I gonna do? There's nowhere to go. 25th of June, I found a journal. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. Huh. The pieces are behaving strangely. What? They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Weird. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. Huh. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care, and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. It does? I didn't even know that. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Ah. How is my sanity dangerously low? Because the door closed? What? Because the door closed. I'm in the light. Calm down. Dude, I'm in the light. How do I get my sanity to go back up? I don't know. What do I do? The door fucking closes and he's flipping out. <laughs> what do they want me to do? I don't know what else to do. And I'm almost out of oil. I got a tiny bit left. That's it. <clears throat> What the fuck? <laughs> this stupid shit! This stupid shit hurts you? What? The red stuff hurts you. I didn't even know that. Ah, oh, look at this! So, don't touch the red shit. I'm right near the fucking light. Stop being a bitch. Stupid effect, go away! It's annoying. I'm right in the light. Why is this effect happening to me? Look. You can't do anything to this box either. It looks like you could open it, but you can't.
Hatch is too heavy to lift by hand. It's stuck. Something is clogging the crank and pulley contraption. What? Stupid effect on the... It's annoying the shit out of me right now. Are there any items in this room? Ah! What the fuck? Open! What the fuck? Stay open! Holy shit! I got a hundred tinder boxes, but no oil for the lamp. That's what I need. Shit. Another tinder box, but no oil. How's my sanity doing? Terrible. <laughs> So what the hell's jamming it? I can't get a firm grip on it from here. I must have to step on something. A box, maybe. Can I lift the box? There we go. Very nice. All right, we're in the, the basement. <laughs> Ooh, to you too. Cellar Archives. <clears throat> well, out of all the rooms, this one's actually well lit. Whoa, now what? Huh. Alright, now it changed. Okay, something after me. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> now you tell me. Wow, that was so scary. Nothing killed. There was literally nothing there and I died. Uh You died from nothing. This idiot. So what did I do? I pulled the lever and did something, but I don't know what I did. It makes a noise. I can't pull it again once you've turned it on. Alright, so now I have to figure out where to go without trying to stay out of the water here. I'm not in the water. Get away from me, dickhead. There you go, as long as you stay on the boxes, you're alright. Ooh, the invisible nothing. Wow, I'm so scared. <laughs> the splish splash monster. He wants to give you a bubble bath. What the hell? <laughs> I don't see any items in this room that I could pick up. 